Now we're going to get to that father who confessed to kidnapping his son to raise him in a new state with a new name 13 years ago. He's now been sentenced to four years in prison, even though his son begged the judge not to take his dad away. Amy's here with that emotional story. Hey, Amy. That's right. 19-year-old Julian Hernandez stood up in court telling the judge he has forgiven his father for kidnapping him when he was just five years old and that he loves him and wants him to be a part of his life. I uh, don't know what else to say other than not to send my father to jail. An emotional plea from 18-year-old Julian Hernandez at his father's sentencing. He did not want his face shown on camera. Everyone wants to talk about all the bad things he's done, and I think that he's done a lot of good. Asking for leniency for the man who pleaded guilty to kidnapping him 13 years ago. In 2002, defendant Bobby Hernandez took his then five-year-old son Julian from his Alabama home. He and Julian's mother had a tumultuous relationship. Hernandez moved to Cleveland, Ohio, where he created new identities for him and Julian. For 13 years, Julian's mother says she searched for her son. Authorities even using this age progression picture, hoping to find him. Julian was the center of my life. Attorney Gloria Allred reading a letter on behalf of Julian's mother in court. During my darkest moments, I considered suicide. I wanted to die. Julian discovered he was kidnapped while applying for college last fall, saying his social security number kept coming up invalid. But Julian said he forgives he, um, his father, saying he raised him to be the man he is today. He's raised me well, in my opinion, pushed me far in school, and he's the reason why I get some of the best grades in school. And, why I'm going to college. He loved me and protected me more than anybody else I've ever known. Bobby Hernandez showing regret for his actions before the judge sentenced him to four years in prison. I accept full responsibility for everything I did. Now, Julian has since been reunited with his mother, who lives in Alabama, but he will stay in Cleveland for now so he can finish up high school. But a heartbreaking story all around, George. Boy, it sure is, Amy. Let's talk no more about this now with our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams. That testimony from the son so emotional but the judge apparently said the law's law right a heartbreaking story the judge uh, sort of uh, went to her middle ground here right could have done probation which is what the defense was asking for the prosecutors asking for up to 54 years behind bars the son's testimony was critical here um, not just that he's saying you know don't blame dad uh, I forgive dad but that the kid seemed so well adjusted the problem with this, in my view, is that this is still a light sentence for all the sorts of charges you're talking about. The kidnapping charges, the forgery, the tampering with records. He pled guilty um, to a whole host of charges here. You know, if we judge these kinds of cases by what happens to the kid later, that sends the message that, you know what? Kidnap your kid if you need to. Figure it out later. If you can make your, turn your kid into a great kid, then it's okay. This was someone who took their three-year-old child away from its mother over a breakup dispute, changed his name, and I understand, I have enormous sympathy as I watch this, and I listen to that young man talk about how important his father has been, but don't forget, let's go back 13 years to the heartbreak of that mother, having her child stolen from her home, this was a light sentence. And, th and that's why this may not be it for the father. That's right. And Alabama also now considering possible charges here. Unclear if they're going to pursue it because that's where he was taken from this happening in Ohio. Okay, Dan Abrams, thanks very much.